Coming up on today's Nightly News. Britain ponders split from European Union. UK could defy Europe on giving prisoners the right to vote, says Chris Grayling. European election, citizens from one member state will be able to stand as candidates in any member state. I'm Rick Tiss and this is the Unit Nightly News. Britain ponders split from European Union. Goodbye, Britain. For the European Union, a once unthinkable question is looking more like a real possibility with each new grinding week of the economic crisis. The reason is that bad times are forcing the 17 EU nations that use the euro currency to move ever closer towards some kind of United States of Europe. One that could make decisions about how much member countries spend and how much tax that they collect. If ever Britain had a nightmare, that's it. The British public shows no interest in moving closer to the rest of Europe, and most can't even seem to stomach the status quo. The real question these days appears to be whether to drift away or break away abruptly. UK could defy Europe on giving prisoners the vote, says Chris Grayling. Britain could refuse to implement a European court ruling that would give some prisoners the vote. The Justice Secretary has suggested this. Chris Grayling spoke as he prepared to publish a bill that would offer MPs the option of defying the European Court of Human Rights on prisoner votes. The Strasbourg brace-based court has ruled that the blanket ban on all prisoner voting is incompatible with the European Convention on Human Rights. The Commons last year voted overwhelmingly to retain the British ban on prisoner votes. Today is the deadline for Britain to respond to the court's latest order on the issue. Ministers will respond by publishing a draft bill offering MPs a range of options. Now, the full details of this story and the various options are available on our website, theunit.com, and the links are below. European elections. Citizens from one member state can stand as candidates in any member state. Now, on the 20th of November in Strasbourg, the European Parliament voted with an overwhelming majority to adopt the European Commission proposal which will make it easier for EU citizens living in another member state to stand as a candidate in the 2014 European Parliamentary elections. The draft legislation is now expected to be adopted by the European Council before the end of 2012. Now, Vivian Redding, European Commission Vice President and European Commissioner for Justice, Fundamental Rights and Citizenship, said, Taking part in the European elections is one of the most important ways for citizens to make their voice heard in the European Union. Every EU citizen has the right to vote or stand as a candidate in the European election, whether they live in their own country or in another EU member state. The reform we have put on the table makes it easier for those EU citizens exercising their right to live anywhere in the Union to also exercise their democratic rights in European elections. Read the full story on our website, the links are below. I would just like to say uh, thanks to Mark Stonham, John Williams and Stephen Forster who are all on Google+. Plus? I want to thank them for taking the time to feedback about the nightly news uh, with pointers and some helpful advice. I also want to put a welcome shout out to some of those of you who've joined me, joined me on the unit's Google Plus page. Uh, Richard Milton, Andrew Fear and Colin Noel. Thanks for your support, guys. Um, if you'd like to interact with us on Google+, Plus, I have also included a link below that will take you directly to the unit's page. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news and stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can, of course, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Light News. I'll see you soon.